I haven't placed... Well, that's the worst intro, but I'm doing it anyway. I haven't played Sanctum in years. And so I guess it's time for me to give it a shot. Have I literally only gotten through like three levels? Wow. Uh, let's see, that's fine. We're just gonna dive into this. So if you guys haven't seen... Oh, right, your old save file, whatever. Um, hi. Okay, so we actually get to pick our stuff here. So we got Sniper, Tesla, and Freeze. Tesla, Stream of Lightning, Small Area, some other things. So if you guys haven't seen this game before, it is a first-person shooter tower defense game made by Coffee Stain. The people that made Satisfactory. I'm still hoping they go back and actually made uh, or make a uh, uh, Sanctum 3, but they keep talking about not wanting to do that, so I'll take that at face, face value. So Rapid Fire Missile Cannon. Interesting. So I might want to do that. Let's get rid of Freeze. Let's grab Rex. So we've got a Sniper for shooting things long range, Tesla for dealing with crowds, and then Rex, which is just... Blast them all. So what do we have tower-wise? Because I can only equip five. Televator, uh, get on top of your towers. Okay, so we have the block in the Televator. Can't do that. So, uh, or uh, I can't... I can't remove either of those. So you're playing Sanctum 1 instead of 2? I'll play Sanctum 2 at some point as well. I just... I don't know. I, to some degree, Sanctum 2 especially, I want to play with Shell. Where Sanctum 1, I don't think she cares as much. There's not a story. So what do we have? High-powered laser beams at enemies. Uh, let's see. Targeting system may be a bit erratic. What is drone? Focus laser, penetrate anything. Drone swarms have very limited AI. Can only be one swarm per target. Okay, so let's... We have the slow field, the amp field. Gatlings, penetrators. I'm curious about the penetrator. That might actually be a really good idea. Okay, let's get rid of the drone for the killing floor. So we have two kind of group killers-ish. I might want to grab... Let's see, I might want to grab the violator, something that, that shoots groups. Or would I rather have lightning? Oh, at higher levels, it, it, it's bolts bounce between targets. So, lightning is actually a, more of a sniper type tower. But I think the violator would work better. Maybe the penetrator isn't what I'm looking for. Meh. We'll give this a shot. We'll see what happens. So, is this a tower defense game? Yes. Alright, cool. But it's also a first person shooter. Okay, so. Here we go. Here's where I can see... I can't tell where I am in this... Oh, wait, no. Here I am. So the enemies are going to be coming up this highway unless I get them to go somewhere else. Which I think I'm going to want to do. Can I warp over here? Oh, sick. Let's plunk a block down there. Here's a question. Uh, Because we don't want them to come this direction. We kind of want them to maze through here, maze through here, maze through here, and then something at this direction. There is mazing, yeah. I'm actually really surprised more people haven't heard about this game, uh, considering, you know, the general popularity. I don't... Oh, this is how I switched my weapons, got it. Um... Oh, wait, no, we want to go back to this one, because we got to block this off. There we go. And then back around. Okay, I guess I could just lock this off. There we go. Alright, so if I take a look at this, they're going to be coming through here now. I'm not going to bother with much. Oh, so that's just a free televator. Doesn't look like it can sell it, though. And let's take a look. Because we've got these long hallways. Well, if I've got the penetrator... Huh. I don't know if I can actually get them to maze down this, can I? No, I can't. So I'll sell that, and... Jeez. Actually, maybe let's just get rid of that. 
and put this here. I could maze harder, but they're gonna do it themselves. Only immediate problem is this doesn't. It, this isn't particularly conducive to the penetrator, except for right. Where am I looking? I'm looking the wrong direction. Um, this one could use the penetrator, I think. Huh. I didn't realize. Okay, penetrates targets ground. Well, one way or another, good couple of spots for a kill for killing floors. And then, I guess this would also be a decent penetrator. Okay, how many resources do I still have? Decent chunk. Uh, wow. That damage is stupid. In that case, let's uh, slap a violator here. Just to snipe a couple of things, okay. And then killing floors still cost 20, ouch. Well, that's fine. Uh, press enter to start next wave. Perfect. Boy, I actually feel almost kind of claustrophobic here. I don't remember if these guys can hurt me. Or if they just kind of ignore me. Okay, well, they died pretty horribly, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, let's see. How do we want to handle this? Do we want to just get a bunch of killing floors down? Yeah. Deal with the trash. To some degree, we might almost want them to get stronger. Uh, like a bunch of weak killing floors followed by a bunch of stronger ones. Okay, let's try Rex. Okay, so that is a genuine issue. How are they getting through? They're not really. They're a little bit. But those killing floors are effective. Okay, we could also just slap a bunch of penetrators, or not penetrators, violators all over the place. Uh, let's see, if I wanted to. Because we have one up there. Well, I'll get another penetrator, upgrade it. Upgrade this one? Yeah. Shots per second, point two. Okay, so this does not fire very fast. That's probably fine. Okay. And then we've just got a bunch of little dudes. I don't remember if I can upgrade my guns. I want to say that I can. Oh, these little doodads are quick. Did any make it? No. Perfect. Okay, so I think I'm going to actually keep a lot of these front ones. Um, unupgraded to some degree. Because they'll clear out the little chaff. And then later on here, I will have a much bigger, more expensive variety. So how do we want to handle this one? Because to some degree, I think what we want to do is have them come here... And then loop down. I don't think I have much of a choice beyond that, tragically. Well, the question is, is this fine or do we go more than this? Now I'll just I'll just set this up a little bit. We're just gonna have layers of basic killing floors. I think. There we go. Anything else? 
Not really. I should probably put a Televator on something. I don't think I can actually put a Televator on any of these. There we go. Alright, back up. And start. I should probably have been paying attention to whatever we're up against. Because we might actually have flyers at some point. Oh no, these are these are just a big dude. Okay, he died. But this is where all that extra damage would actually come in handy. Okay, well that didn't do much. That's okay. They're dying pretty quick, so I don't think we need to worry too much about this. But we might want to snag some better sniper rifles. There we go. Alright. So I got a sniper rifle on that one. I think easiest thing I could possibly do is probably just upgrade my sniper rifle twice. There we go. I love the weapon designs. Oh, it's so good. Like, every, every single square inch of Sanctum is actually, like, incredibly stylish. It's one of those games that it's almost a shame that this came out. It was, like, ten years ago to some degree just because I don't think a lot of people know about it anymore. And I think that's a travesty. Okay. So can I upgrade this even further? I could, but that would start becoming kind of silly. It would have nice to see what they could have done with the resources available today. Yeah, and it's part of the reason why it's like, I would very much love to see them actually tackle uh, A Sanctum 3, even if I know they're kind of resistant to the idea. Okay, can I get one more killing floor? Nice part is I almost don't need to maze them here. Uh, I probably will a smidge. Huh. Oh, right. I can't get them to loop around here. Oh, that's fine. But yeah, they... They can do whatever they uh they can do whatever they want. Like Coffee Stain does great games. I just Tower Defense games are yeah, 2001. Uh April 11th or uh, April 2011 on Steam. Damn. It really was 10 years ago. So these guys are on the li little bit of the fast side. Oh, but they get slowed down tremendously by corners. Okay, should be fine. Yeah, we're good. Okay, wow, these are... Massive. So, here's the question. Do we... Do I want to put a penetrator on this one? Range on it's pretty good. Now, at this point, I think we just want violators. How's this one? Do we upgrade it further? Yes. We'll just upgrade a couple of these. Let's see, apparently they're still in business because I heard they're making Goat Simulator 3, so Hope Springs Eternal. Well, I mean, they've made Satisfactory, so... Uh, <laughs> like... They... They better still be in business for, for reasons. Like... It'd be really bizarre for them to have shut down somewhere in the middle of that.
Okay, you're a problem. I, I guess I needed more sniper rifle, uh, violator turrets. Uh, I don't know how bad this is going to be. Like, really bad, I think. Oh, only 10%. Still kind of stinky and outlines a bit of an issue that I'm going to be dealing with here, which is, uh, I don't do enough damage, apparently. Let's see, which of these... They're all level 2. Upgrade that. I think I'm gonna have to start actually focusing pretty hard on like one or two of these and we'll just see what happens. If you wanna feel old, check out... Uh, check it out if you have... Or check out if you have Ragdoll Kung Fu. First third party game sold on Steam came out in 2005. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've definitely been going through a lot of the, like, do you feel old yet uh, moments on on Steam. Or just kind of in my career. I mean, straight up, uh, this week is my ninth year uh, on YouTube, which feels absolutely nonsensical that I've been doing it this long. Okay, do we want to just keep buffing this thing? Shit. That's really expensive. I'm just gonna keep leveling those up. I could put a Violator out front there. It's true? I don't know if it would have good line of sight though. I really like the Penetrator visuals. Sure. No, no, that that penetrator hallway is actually like super solid. Uh oh. Got a couple getting through. I should double check it. Oh wait, no. Must have gotten sniped. Okay. Uh, do we want to get a violator over here? I think so. Yeah, this is the one that must have done it in. Because, yeah, I could get a couple of violators. Now, I'll probably keep them central. Okay, there we go. Oh, looks like it's another big walkie. At least I'm kind of building around the idea of this. I should see if I can upgrade my weapons. I don't actually remember if that's a thing you can do. It's gotta be. Otherwise, my guns are going to just feel forever worse and worse over the course of this. That's okay. And the other thing about Sanctum is, like... For an 11 year old game, this is damn beautiful. Obviously there's some rough edges, but like, art style, uh, art direction reigns supreme, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, I think they're dead. Go back up. Okay. Nope. Uh, shift for weapons. A. Here we go. So here's where we can upgrade stuff. The question is, oh, primary and secondary. The wait, the lightning does. Damn it. Huh. Huh. So what do we want to level up? Because the sniper gets some more damage in two shots. The lightning straight up doubles in damage. 
every time. Well, all lightning day. Okay. Gamers nowadays have it good. Back in 1995, if you were playing a 10-year-old game, it probably didn't even have graphics. <laughs> yeah? No, that is true. There are definitely some, like, games from that era that still hold up incredibly well. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly thinking, like, games from 1995, you'd probably have the advent of the early JRPGs to really get into. And, like, some of those are incredible. Like, I, I've been playing, um, Fantasy Star. The, uh, the first one recently. And, like, it holds up actually shockingly well. There we go. Alright. I think I need to do a lot of things. Well, I can't upgrade my weapon further, which is a shame because I think that would help. Um, I think what we need to do... Probably upgrade these two. Maybe I should spread that out a little bit further. Oh well. Why current game, uh, games current gen, the top graphics usually suck for actual gameplay. I think it varies. Like, I'm trying to think of some really beautiful games recently. Well, Doom. Like, uh, Doom, uh, Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal are both absolutely gorgeous games. Okay, I should probably be here to finish off whoever survives. Though it looks like these steam vents here are actually just deleting them. But those are gorgeous games with equally, like, fantastic gameplay. Uh, do I spend 320 to make this vent even more ridiculous? Maybe? Because the alternative is, I max, or I boost this. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but it seems like a solid one all the same. Okay, and this time I'm just going to charge it. And some of the pixel art ones are gorgeous. Uh, I thought both of the Ori, Ori games were fantastic. Yeah, so I've got a just railgun shot for like a thousand damage. Shit, that's good. It also makes really cool noises. Okay, let's not be down here all the same. It, even the 90s games uh, could still have good, di good design for the time. Link to the Past still holds up. Link to the Past is still very good. Uh, though I'd, I think I'd say I like Link's Awakening a bit better. Uh, mainly just for the... story. I'm gonna go into my options. I'm gonna turn some sound effects down if I can. It's just a little much. Special effects? There we go. But no. Like always, art direction, I think, is probably the most important part of any game. So, like, you can have great pixel art from 30 years ago that still looks, you know, like it would be viable modern day. I'm thinking of, like, Chrono Trigger uh, and Final Fantasy VI. The Final Fantasy VI was... What? Was that 1996? 1994? Somewhere in there. Okay, so 800 if I want to upgrade this thing further. That's a bit... That's a bit rough. Let's switch over back to this. Penetrator. Thousand damage. 
Okay, and that gives me just enough to upgrade this one. Perfect. Because, yeah, that should just smush this. I'll probably want to upgrade a couple of these. Recall that the sniper is OP in these games for certain enemies. My main thing is just the, uh... Uh, it's only useful for sniping dudes. Whereas the Tesla cannon has like an AoE to it. But the sniper is probably actually just as good in its own right. Okay. Well, we seem to have a fairly decent defense. I think the main trick was just getting myself a gun that can actually handle it. Okay, 400. I want to upgrade this to do a thousand damage. Uh, Two thousand damage? Two thousand damage. Worth it. And then I might start upgrading this, like, immediate area. Link's Awakening is still the best Zelda game. I I really liked the 3D remake. I actually found that it was a little cheatsy because you could, uh, the enemies still behaved like they were on the Game Boy Color, but the, uh, uh let's see, the enemies still behaved like they are on the Game Boy Color, but, uh, Link himself was not limited to the same restrictions, which made it really easy to cheese some of the fights. But I, I thought the Switch remake was actually, like, incredibly good. Yeah, I... I think over the next couple years, I'm gonna try and actually go through with Shell, and the two of us will try and play through every Zelda. Except for maybe some of the, like, weird niche ones. Like, I don't know if I'd touch Spirit Tracks. Or, like, Tingle's weird-ass whatever the hell he does. Okay. So here's the question. 320, make this 2,000? Yeah. That's worth it. Uh, first person sh uh, shooter tower defense, what a concept. There, there are only a handful of them and most of them are actually like really good. Uh, specifically like Sanctum is fantastic. Probably the best of the bunch for traditional tower defense. Orcs must die, it's not bad. I guess it's a third person shooter, but like whatever. Imagine you'd skip the CDI games. I think I'd play them for a bit for the novelty. <laughs> and then I'd stop, because I'm not going to subject myself to that or her for very long. That was Sanctum 2. Picked it up years ago. Never got around to it. I mean, if this looks fun to you, then Sanctum 2 is going to be, be fairly similar. Uh, amazing tower defense. There's a little bit more of an RPG element to it, and also plot, from what I remember. Let's see. I'm just going to upgrade this one twice. Just have a secondary doom vent a little early. Yeah, Spirit Tracks isn't bad as its own game. Just as a Zelda game, it's weird. See, for me, I'm, I'm mostly interested in, like, kind of the mainline Zelda vibes. I'd even go so far as to say that, like, I'm not entirely sure if I'd replay through Breath of the Wild ever. Because it doesn't have the same vibe for me. Like, it's, it's the dungeons from Zelda and the exploration they're in that captures me the most. Well, this seems like actually a problem. Okay, let's warp over here.
Is that all of it? I think we're good. Sick. Uh, let's see, 7,000 damage. I could do that. But I think I'm just gonna start spreading some more really good floor vents. We've only got two waves left, so I don't think I need to be too aggressive here. Kingdom 2 was the most fun ga uh, co-op game my friend and I played before Gunfire Reborn was released. Huh, that's high praise. But then again, I also didn't like Gunfire Reborn that much. So I don't know where I stand on that one. Never get into the 3D Zelda games. I think you gotta keep looking until you find your specific flavor. As odd as that is to say. Because... Jeez, I don't know. I don't want to say necessarily, like, me wanting to go through all these Zelda games to do some kind of, like, weird buyer's guide or, like, vibe check thing of just, like, hey, here's, like, this is why this Zelda game is specifically good and who it's for. Because, like, for me, Majora's Mask, I think, was the best. Um, just for the... Uh, let's see. Just for the aspect of... I'll upgrade this one like a bunch of times. Yeah. Oh, can't quite. If I sell this one to buff this one, there we go. That should do it. But the kind of open-ended puzzleness of um, of Majora's Mask was incredibly compelling. I don't know if it was necessarily actually that good, but I would love to see them tackle that again because it was kind of non-linear and there was all sorts of things that you had to do apart from just you know going to the dungeons. And making a sequel to a Zelda game kind of irks me, because as far as I know, uh, they've made a, never made a sequel before. Uh, Link Between Worlds is a sequel. And... Spirit Tracks? I think Spirit Tracks is one that is also a sequel of sorts. Though Link Between Worlds is is, like, I think separated by a couple hundred years or something like that. But it's like a much more direct sequel, I think. And then Majora's Mask is kind of a direct sequel as well. Though it's super standalone-y, so I don't know how to specifically determine that sort of thing. Okay, got 600. If I sell this, we can make this obscene. Yeah, it seems worth it. And there's Phantom Hourglass. I I was trying to remember if Phantom Hourglass was actually a Zelda title or not. I Because I honestly couldn't remember. Um, Because I, I pretty much did not touch any of the handheld Zeldas. I honestly actually have not played a whole lot of Zelda games uh, to completion. Like, I love them, but I think I've only beaten Skyward Sword. Holy smokes. Okay, that's your problem. I think his tentacles take damage. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him. I think he only represents 10% of my core, though. Whereas these guys I should have been dealing with. Shoot. I think it's the last wave, though. Yep, we got it. Didn't even take that much damage. Sick. Well, we got it. Oh my god, we even do the... Whatever that dance is. I'd forgotten about that. Well, that was fun. Okay, uh, let's see, so... If I go back to level select, was the mine really the first? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I see, there's different difficulty levels. So... Easy, normal, hard, and insane. That's what these nodes are for. 
So there's mine, bridge, wow, arc, glade, and if you notice, m multiple of these actually have have numerous saves, uh, save slots, um, spawn locations. Two areas I haven't been to: the Yogg's Cave, uh, Christmas, and then Whirlpool. Huh. That's interesting. Carmel Danson. There we go. It's been a long time. Old memes, man. It's also like turbo mode, which sounds kind of interesting. Cool. I guess this has a lot less content than I remember it having. But also, that's kind of fine. I don't think this needed to be like a particularly huge game to some uh, to some degree. I don't know. I, I think I might actually sit down and play through this with Shell at some point, just because having multiple spawn locations would be much easier to deal with with a second person with a gun. Um, but that'll be whenever she feels like it. For now, though, this is kind of a fun, uh, fun little look back into the past. And, like, it holds up, like, really well? Uh, which actually is throwing me off more than a little bit. I was not expecting this to be a as good as it was. Uh, because I remember having fond memories for it, but sometimes there's always kind of that time gap where you're just like, ten years later, wow, that game was actually not very good. But this one, still solid. Uh, and still performs well. It doesn't like being all tabbed. And I don't know how the multiplayer works nowadays. Oh, bo oh boy. Join via TCP IP. I have not seen those uh, together in like five years or something to that extent. I'd apologize for... Uh, oh, right. There was also the DLC map pack, which I really should buy someday on a sale. Uh, and then also Sanctum 2, which I'll get to as well. But for now, let's move on to the next because my voice is dying and I don't think I could do another level like that.